Hi everybody, I'm Ina Pinckney and you're in my kitchen. This is a very rare moment because hardly anybody has ever been in my kitchen at home. And it's Passover and it was my favorite holiday. We grew up in a kosher home. So we had everyday meat dishes, everyday dairy dishes, company dairy dishes, company meat dishes, and then Passover dishes. And all of those came with their separate pots and pans and I used to get to kosher the silverware, which you could do. So I have great fondness for this holiday and I have kept it all my life. And I decided many years ago that I was gonna to try to create some things for myself. My mom was not a great cook. My grandma surely wasn't a great cook. My Aunt Susie was a great cook, but didn't keep kosher. So there was no way that matzo meal was gonna find its way into her house but it always found its way into our house. And then I noticed there was always a lot of matzo meal left over after you make matzo balls. And so I decided I was gonna make some matzo ball pancakes. Oops, I take that back, matzo meal pancakes. Because so after all, I am the breakfast queen and what else should I make but pancakes? So I'm gonna show you today how to make matzo meal pancakes that you can use during this week or any time. The secret is that this was my go-to when I would come home exhausted from the restaurant, hungry, I was always hungry when I got home, and I had nothing in the house to eat that I felt like cooking or eating, except matzo meal pancakes. So I make them all year round as my ultimate comfort food. So let's start giving you some comfort as well. Notice that I still have my Ina's mug. So first thing, very simple ingredients. We need two eggs, and we need matzo meal. I use the unsalted because I like my matzo meal pancakes sweet. Other people put other things in it to make it savory. It's just a, a choice. And the thing about breaking up eggs when you're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it here, is you never do it stirring around because you notice how the egg yolks just keep rolling around. So do it side to side and they'll break up very, very, very fast. I've been using this brand called Happy Eggs. Um, I don't know if they make me happy or the chickens happy, but they're very yellow and they're very unctuous, you know, when you're making sunny side up eggs. So now I have my two eggs. I have a half a cup of matzo meal. This is gonna make one serving, so up it as much as you like. And here, let's see if I can get this over here. And I'm gonna stir that just a little bit. And I'm gonna put in just not even a pinch of salt. And I always use a Himalayan pink salt because it's not as salty. I know that doesn't sound normal, but that's me. And then the ultimate, the ultimate ingredient, warm water. That's it, warm water. Not too hot, I don't wanna cook the eggs. So now I'm gonna move this here. I'm gonna stir this around a little bit. And it's gonna look a little thin, but by the time you heat the oil in the pan, it's gonna thicken up a little bit. The matzo meal will absorb some of the water and some of the egg, and it'll get thicker. So I'm just gonna leave it on the counter while I heat up the oil. So I'm not gonna do the cooking for you because you know, you put it in a pan, you wait till it gets a little brown underneath. You're not gonna get bubbles on this like you do with regular pancakes. But I want you to know that's it. This mixture will make really delicious matzo meal pancakes. Now I agree, matzo is an acquired taste. It's just like flour and water baked. So I get it. But remember, you can do other things with this. You can add some blueberries to this. You can make it savory if you want with other kinds of caramelized onions or whatever you wanna put in here. I am a sweet girl. So I will then make these into sweet pancakes. And I'll pour a big spoonful, make sure they're round, let them sit medium high until they finish. And then what we have is perfect matzo meal pancakes. They're so good, they smell so good. I use a little more oil than some because I like them crispy around the edges. And of course, I'm always, always, always going to serve them with Tim Burton's Maplewood Farm syrup because that's the kind of girl I am. This is amazing. So now that we made these, I just want to talk a little bit about Passover. 
So it's a time of uh, freedom. And I have talked to so many people in the last quarantine weeks who really feel sad that they don't have anybody to really turn to. And my point is that many people make emotional withdrawals from people and they never make deposits. So if you've got some people in your life like that who are constantly making withdrawals on your emotional self, you know, you can have a talk with them when this is over, or you can get rid of them. You know, you purge your clothes, you purge your books, you could purge people. Nobody said you couldn't. And while this is a kind of a reboot for all of us, and maybe not the kind of reboot we would have chosen to do, this is what we have. And so I'm gonna say to you, have a sweet Passover, fix your life, be free, and we will meet on the other side of this.